Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at the new iTunes 9 home sharing feature. Well, I was very excited when home sharing was revealed to be one of the new features in iTunes 9. For a long time, people have been emailing me with questions about how to share music between multiple Macs in the same household. Well, home sharing seemed to be the perfect solution, except that it's not. Let's go ahead and take a close look at what it can do and what it can't do. So here's home sharing in action. On this Mac, an iMac, I've got my regular music library here, and under Shared, I've got this little home icon and the name of another computer which is my Mac Pro. And there I can go ahead and view all of the songs on my Mac Pro. In addition to that I can also go ahead and break things down by category looking just at movies, TV shows, audiobooks, things like that. I can even go ahead and look at the playlists on the other Mac. Now to get home sharing going you've got a few steps. First is go to the advanced menu and go to turn on home sharing. It says off here because I already have it turned on. Once you go to turn it on, you've got to give it an iTunes account ID and password. So this is where it gets tricky because you have to have the same ID and password used for all the machines that you want to share things between. So say if you have five Macs in your house, you have to use the same iTunes account ID for each of those five machines for the home sharing feature. Now that does not mean that they have to use the same iTunes account to go to the iTunes store. They can each have a different iTunes account. But here's where it gets tricky. If you want to really share songs between these machines, they have to be authorized for each other's accounts. So for instance, if my wife and I each have our own iTunes account and each have our own Macs, we can both turn on home sharing, but we have to choose one of our two iTunes accounts to use as the home sharing ID. So we say choose mine. Great. Now I can see the songs on her Mac, but I can't actually share them. I've got to authorize my iTunes account on my Mac with her iTunes ID. So basically it's authorized for both my account and her account. You can do that. You can have multiple authorizations. Then she's got to go ahead and authorize her Mac for both my account and her account. And now we can finally share music between us. So what can you do now that you have home sharing between two Macs? Well you can play a song from the other Mac by simply selecting it and playing it or just double clicking on it and it will stream over your network. Another thing you can do is you can select a bunch of songs and hit the import button at the bottom right and this will make a copy of those songs over onto your Mac. So you're basically duplicating the songs. You can't push the songs to another Mac but you can pull them from one Mac to another. In addition to that you can also list songs in two different ways. You can list them by all of the songs available or just the items not in your current library. So in addition to that you can try to auto sync. So press the settings button down here and you get this dialog box and it seems to suggest that if you add new music to one machine it will then copy over to the other. But if you read it very carefully it says only purchases and by purchases it means purchases from the iTunes store. So it will not work for songs that you import from a CD or songs that you copy an MP3 file say if you purchase them from another place like Amazon. It doesn't work like that. It only works for purchases. So the automatic syncing is not really automatic syncing at all. And that's not the only place that home sharing falls short. For instance, the entire streaming over the network feature isn't new at all. There's already a sharing feature in iTunes and it's still there. You go to iTunes Preferences, turn on Sharing, and another Mac can see through iTunes all the songs on there and stream them just like home sharing can. So it really doesn't add a new feature. Matter of fact, it's harder to set up home sharing to do that because you have to use an iTunes account on both machines to get that going. With the old sharing, it still works, you just turn sharing on one Mac and the other Macs can see it and play that music. And just like with the old sharing feature, iTunes actually has to be running for it to work. So if you have a central Mac, you have to have iTunes running on that Mac in order for other Macs to be able to see it either for the old sharing or for home sharing. As for the importing feature, there's nothing you couldn't have done before. You just had to use the Finder before. You could go ahead and share files between two Macs and then look in the iTunes Music folder on the second Mac and drag any music you want over to the current Mac to go ahead and share it in iTunes there. You can even drag it directly from the iTunes Music folder on the first Mac into iTunes on the second Mac and it will import it and organize it basically the same way that the import feature works. So the import is basically just a shortcut to be able to go ahead and do the same thing but with a little bit more of a complex setup with the whole iTunes accounts thing. So the new home sharing feature doesn't really offer anything new at all. 
unless you count the import button which is just a shortcut for copying files and that only works if you use the correct iTunes account for home sharing on both machines and authorize with the same iTunes account on both machines. People that might find this the most useful are those that have multiple Macs in the household and sync different iPods and iPhones to different Macs. So for instance you have one central Mac where you buy your music and then you have several different Macs that sync to different iPods and different iPhones for different members of the family. They can use home sharing to grab the music they want, put it on their Mac and then sync it with their device so that they have that music when they're on the go. Now this still doesn't offer anything over just copying the files using the Finder like they might have done before but it might be an easier way to manage that. What would make the home sharing feature so much more useful is if the automatic syncing feature actually worked for anything new added to iTunes not just stuff purchased in the iTunes store. This way you can truly keep multiple Macs in the same household completely in sync. Hopefully Apple would continue to improve on the home sharing feature until it actually becomes useful. I'd like to hear from you though and hear whether or not you find home sharing useful. You can leave a comment at this post at MacMost.com. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.